Hi, this is Luke Gibson, and I am going to be showing you how to create a baseline aligned grid in InDesign. In graphic design, a common problem when using grids is that the baselines don't automatically match up with elements such as photographs or large titles. And I'm going to be showing you how to create a grid where the baselines line perfectly up with the rows that you've created um, in InDesign. So the first thing that you'll want to know for this project is what leading you'll want to be using. Because the entire grid is calculated based off of the letting that you choose, it's not really something you can change later. So um, after whatever experimentation, um, comps that you print out, um, you'll want to definitely have a good idea of what typeface and what letting you'll be using before you create the grid. So let's get started. Go ahead and, and create a new um, document by going to File New Document, or if you're on the splash page of InDesign, creating it there. And um, what I'm going to be doing here is unchecking facing pages. So instead of working with a spread, we'll just be working with a single page at the moment. And this grid tutorial will work with any size or format of um, spread or page or um, iPad screen or what have you. As long as you follow the st steps of this tutorial, it should work just fine. For this example, we'll be using just our standard letter size page. And we'll go ahead and push OK. Now. The first thing you need to do, as you know what your um, letting is, you'll want to enter that into the baseline grid in InDesign. And the way to do that is to go to InDesign CC, Preferences, Grids, and go ahead and open that up. And under the baseline grid section, there's a couple things that we're going to change. The most important ones are under Start, you'll want to change that to zero. So your baseline grid starts at the top of the page. And under Increment Every, you'll want to change that to your chosen letting. For this example, we'll be using 13 point letting, and so I'm just going to type in 13 PT. And this is just personal taste, this is totally optional, but I prefer to change my baseline grid color from light blue to a light gray, so it's a little bit easier on the eyes. Push OK, and um, what you'll want to do next is go to View, Grids and Guides, Show Baseline Grid. If it's not showing up, that's because your view threshold isn't high enough. And the way you can change that, if you want to, is either by zooming in so you can see it, or if you go to Preferences and back to our grid section, you can change the view threshold to something, say, 5%. What this means is when you're zoomed out and the page is only at 5% of its actual size, um, it will still show the baseline grid. Push OK, and it'll show up right there. Now. The first step is to edit your baseline grid to match your letting. The second one is that we'll need to make our margins match the baseline grid. So under layout, go to margins and columns. And here we'll want to make sure that this link box, link button is checked and we'll check that to make sure that all our margins change to the same amount at the same time. And um, the easiest way to do this is to create a calculation right here and the top box and because we know that our baseline units are 13 points each we can simply type 13 times 3 PT and what that will do is it will make it so the margins are exactly three baseline units um, thick so if we hit tab it'll apply to all the other margins and we'll push OK and we can see that if we zoom in a little bit um, our margins on the top our, our margin on the top is perfectly matched and our margins on the sides are the same size. The problem that we have right now though is that when we scroll down to the bottom, um, our margin is not matching. The reason why this is is because the page size, in this case letter that I've chosen, is um, not a perfect, it's not perfectly divisible by the amount of baseline units we've created. If we simply took 13 points and multiplied them by whatever this number of baselines is, we'd have a perfect page. But um, in this case, the simplest thing to do really is just to move your bottom margin to match it. Um, alternately, you can um, mathematically create a page that will be divided per into perfect baselines, but um, that's not something we're really concerned about at the moment. So um, let's just go to layout, back to margins and columns, and um, we'll uncheck this box because we only want to change the bottom margin. And um, under bottom, if I zoom in here a little bit so I can get a better view of this, I want to make sure that I just click it down, or if you're further off, you might have to click it a few times, and I just kind of change it so that the margin matches the bottom baseline right here perfectly. Go ahead and push OK. You might have 
a problem where no matter what you do, it won't line up perfectly. And that is possibly because your page isn't in even points. So if you look under File, Document, Setup, and you see that um, a strange decimal here, like 66 pikas, 4.23 points or something like that, you want to get rid of the decimal and make sure everything's in even points in pikas, and that will fix the problem. Go ahead and push OK. Zoom out, and um, we are already halfway there, where we have our margins perfectly aligned to our baseline grid. The next step, and really the core of what we're doing here, is that we want to take the amount of baselines we have within these margins and divide them into even amounts. These groups that we're dividing it into will actually become our rows for our grid. So the thing that we want to do first is we need to know how many rows there are inside these margins so we can actually even divide them in the first place. The way that I do it is a little bit primitive, but it seems to work, and what I do is I make sure to click on our, my rectangle tool and I simply um, count out 10 baselines. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And here I have um, a, a 10 baseline tall block. By holding down shift and option, I can click and drag and it will copy it over and over and I know that each one of these units is 10 baselines and it makes it really easy to count. So it looks like we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and some change. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 55 is a great number to divide by. It gives us several options for um, different amounts of rows that we can create. If you get a really bizarre number such as 57, or 41, something that's not easily divisible into large groups, um, you might want to consider changing your margin size, changing your letting, changing your page size. Any number really that you change will give you a different amount of baselines to work with. Um, the easiest thing though would probably be to make your margins larger or smaller um, to give you a different number of baselines to divide. But we don't have that problem right now, so we're going to go ahead and stick with 55. I'm going to delete these boxes and um, what we need to do is figure out how many rows we can create in um, this grid based on 55. So 55 clearly is going to be divisible by 5. So um, by hitting my spotlight search or opening a calculator or using a calculator at your desk, anything is fine, we'll want to calculate this. The point here is we want to end up with an even number at the end. So let's take 55 and we'll divide it by um, 5. So we know that we can get 11 rows out of the baseline grid. We have an even number of 11 right here. If it's a decimal, this number is representing 11 baselines. If it's a decimal, it's 11 point something baselines, and our grid is not going to line up perfectly to the baseline grid. So we know that we can do five. Um, one easy way to do it is just start at two, three, four, five. Here's our first even one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, even 5.5 .5 is still uneven, so we don't want to use it. It looks like 55 and 11, um, 11 rows of five baselines or five rows of 11 baselines are our two options right here. Um, so let's go ahead and stick with five rows of 11 baselines. We'll have a five row grid. So um, the key and the thing that causes the most problems, but if you do it right, um, shouldn't be a problem. But the main key here is that um, there is a little trick that um, messes up our calculations. I'll show you how to adjust it, but first I'm going to show you what happens if we simply divide this um, without this extra step. When I go to Layout, Create Guides, um, we can create our rows right here. Under Rows, we want to have five rows, as we calculated earlier. We want to make sure here that we fit guides to inside the margins and not all the ones on the page. And also very important is our gutter needs to match um, the baseline amount. So our gutter needs to be 13 point just like um, our baseline unit. So that one gutter is exactly one baseline unit and it aligns perfectly. So when I push OK, um, we have our five rows, but our row, our grid rows do not match perfectly. And that is because of one simple thing. The idea is that if we have five groups of 11 rows as we calculated, um, here's 11, here's 11, here's 11. Um, 
one of those 11 rows is being used as a gutter for each one. But the problem is that we have five rows, but we only have four gutters. But we're dividing 55 into even groups, so we're essentially missing an extra gutter here. So the way to fix this is simply to adjust our margin to um, be one baseline unit higher or one baseline unit lower, depending on where you want to create that extra place. So what we want to do now is return to Layout, um, Create Guides, and we'll want to make sure to remove existing ruler guides so that what we've created already gets erased before we create our new ones. We'll enter our five rows. And then we make sure our gutter is 13 points, just like before. Fit guides to margins, and it should align perfectly. There we go. Um, as far as the columns go, it's a much simpler process. Ideally, you will have an amount of columns that either match the amount of rows, such as five columns and five rows, or um, another thing you could do is you could have double the amount or half the amount. Um, what you want to do is just have an amount of columns that has a relationship to your amount of rows. So that's how you create a baseline aligned grid in InDesign. If you feel like you understand it, that's great. I'm going to run through it one more time, much more quickly. Um, so you can quit watching now, but if you want to see it happen one more time, I'll do that right here. So I'm going to start, new page, uncheck facing pages. We'll go to our standard letter size and push OK. This time, why don't we do 11 points for our baseline grid. InDesign CC, Preferences, Grids. Change that to zero. Increment every 11 points, and we'll change that to light gray. View threshold for our purposes, we're going to turn it as low as possible. And then we'll go to view, grids and guides, and show the baseline grid. The next big thing we need to do is match our margins to the baseline grid. So we will go to layout, margins and columns. Make sure this link box is checked so they all change at the same amount at the same time. Top, the easiest thing to do is to choose an amount of baselines that you would like your margin to be um, as thick as, and then enter it here. So I'm going to do, um, let's say we'll do four baseline units this time. So 11 PT times four, it'll calculate it automatically for us when I push tab, and I'm going to push okay. And what we see here is that our top margin aligns perfectly with our baselines. In most cases, our bottom margin will not be aligned. In this case, we got lucky it is. If it's not, you simply go to margin and columns, uncheck the link box because we only want to change the bottom margin, and then click up or down to um, accommodate it as needed until it lines up perfectly. Now the next step is to count out your number of baselines. We'll do our little mini homemade ruler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to hold down Shift and Option to copy and drag in alignment this 10 unit ruler we've created. So it looks like we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, 64 lines, that sounds like a really great number to divide by. As I mentioned earlier, you can change your margin amounts or change other things um, with your page setup to get a different amount of baselines, but we'll stick to 64. You'll want to divide it into an even amount, 64 divided by, let's try 8. So we can do 8 rows, we can do 4. You do two, that's not, that's pretty minimal. 12, nope, that is a decimal and so will not be um, appropriate. Let's go ahead and stick with eight rows. So 64 divided by eight, we'll have eight rows of eight baselines each. But then preemptively this time, we're going to want to change um, one of our margins to have an increased baseline to compensate for that missing gutter that I showed you earlier. So we'll go to uh, margins and columns we will add it simply to our bottom margin, 11 PT, enter, and as you see, this hops up exactly one baseline. And now, when I go to Layout Create Guides, eight rows, our gutter must match our baseline units, so we'll do 11 points, 
fit guides to margins and push OK matches up perfectly. And as usual, I will choose an amount of columns that will have a relationship with the amount of rows. Um, in this case, um, it would be appropriate to have four, um, maybe eight, maybe even more. But um, in this case, it looks like eight or four are both um, really great amounts. And push OK. And that's how you do it. Problems you might encounter are, it, are mainly going to be associated with um, counting these baseline rows incorrectly or counting them correctly, but then failing to correctly uh, take away a baseline or add one to the margin, I should say, to compensate for that missing gutter. Please email me with questions at lucas at lucasgibson.com if need be. But otherwise, this should be it. Thanks.